Well, Al, thanks for your time today. Good on you, Ben. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, you know, the usual stuff. Um, married to Kathy, uh, like 32 years. It's been good. Uh, four kids, three daughters and a son, uh, 28 through to 20. Uh, and I'm a granddad. Oscar's 18 months old. Ah, it's great fun. Can you tell us some interests, things that you do outside of work? Uh, yeah, I try and keep fit for an old bloke. Um, you know, go to the gym, do some weights. Um, I like, well, this is from men's thing, isn't it? I like ecotourism. That's like shooting feral stuff that needs shooting for the sake of the environment. Uh, actually, from today, it's, uh, it's six weeks today to the next shooting trip, so I'm looking forward to that. Al, what do you think the average Aussie man thinks about Jesus? Well, my guess is the average Aussie man doesn't think about Jesus at all, mostly. I think it's a combination that the average Aussie bloke doesn't think about uh, Jesus because Jesus seems far away, distant, you know, he's kind of making the peace sign in the stained glass windows or it's all caught up in the institutional church and most Aussies aren't that, you know, uh, wrapped about the institutional church. I, I guess what makes me sad is that most blokes have never really kind of seen what Jesus is really like. That's the like the real Jesus. And man, it, he is like a magnet for, for men. Uh, yeah. Now, Al, we're having an event on the northern beaches for men who rarely, if ever, step foot into a church, and you're giving the talk. What incentive would you give these men for coming to hear a talk about Jesus? Um, I just work really hard at trying to show guys what Jesus is really like, um, what it is that he offers, and why we should take him seriously. One of my, uh, one of my kind of favourite ways of explaining about Jesus Reg Mombasa, who's the guy that drew the uh, Mambo t-shirts, you know, all that artwork. My favourite one of his t-shirts, it's about Australian Jesus handing out pies and beer uh, at the um, Sydney Cricket Ground. And uh, it's, it's like, it's a great story from the book of Reg. Now, I don't know if Reg Mombasa's going to, well, I think he is, mocking Christians. But the great irony is, I reckon Jesus is much closer to the one who'd hand out pies and beers at the Cricket Ground than what you see in a lot of churches. And the story we're gonna look at is about the idea of Jesus turning water into wine and why he did it and what it means. So, you know, come along. It might, it might give you a new slant on the whole thing about Jesus and how we can know about God. And, you know, is there something more to life than, you know, just kind of the day by day, Groundhog Day thing we live in. Now there seems to be this constant pressure in life to give our attention to the everyday urgent details of life that sometimes stops us from thinking through the big issues. Do you think Aussie blokes have a sense that they're missing out on the real meaning yeah. of life? Um, it's just easy to get caught up in kind of the, the trivia of life. Um, you know, who's going to win the football and, and work and making money and all that, that kind of stuff. If you think about it, when you get to the end of your life and you know you haven't got long left and you look back what really mattered, I guarantee it was people and what you shared with them and so on. You know, no one on their deathbed ever said, I wish I'd spent more time at work or I wish I'd watched more of South Sydney play or whatever. Um, it's relationships that make, that make the world go round. And what I want to talk to blokes about is your relationship with God. Like where do you stand with the one who gives you life itself and that's got to be the big question. And it's, it's easy to keep putting that off. But I tell you, one day, one day we're going to have to face up to it. Well, thanks, Al. We really look forward to hearing what you've got to say about Jesus on the 25th of October. See you then.